Jessica Lee joins me now. She's the Director of Policy and Advocacy at the Council of Korean Americans. A lot to get through here, but um, just want to ask you what you think the point is of these Vancouver talks, and what does this group really hope to accomplish? Right. Well, I was at a high-level security conference in South Korea last month, and I uh, heard uh, firsthand from uh, participants in that multilateral discussion about the Vancouver talks that will take place this month. I supported the idea then, and I support it now. And the reason is simple. I do think that it's very important for nations who participated in the Korean War to take a, a, a really serious reflection on what that war has meant to the global community. There's a lot of loose talks of war happening right now, particularly in Washington. And I think it's very significant that Secretary Tillerson, as the diplomatic you know, representative, chief diplomat for the United States, has really taken on the hard work of talking with countries that we may not agree with, but ultimately all shared that sacrifice during the Korean War. So I do think it's an encouraging and positive sign. And I will say that the, the fact that China and Russia are not at the table is unfortunate. But I don't think that this will be the last multilateral discussion we will see on North Korea. I want to uh, get to Russia and China in just a moment. But even with Tillerson there, his tone was actually harder than the rest of the people who were there. I mean, took a, you know, the others had a more conciliatory tone when they uh, spoke about the DPRK. So are they looking for a different strategy? Or are they just kicking around ideas? Um, and what about the six-party talks? I think those are all great questions that hopefully uh, uh, Secretary Tillerson's team are exploring right now. Uh, I think that um, what is very clear is that the United States has to show more leadership on North Korea. There's been some folks that have relied exclusively on China, for example, as the largest trading partner of, the North, uh, of North Korea, to say, help us solve this issue. We'll play bad cop, but you really do the hard work of resolving the issue. And that's not going to work. So I think a mix of, of hard positioning, but also having uh, dialogue at multiple levels is the only way that we'll get, truly get toward a uh, solution. I do worry that the, the six-party talk uh, framework and uh, countries in the UN Security Council, like Russia and China, um, are not uh, properly at the table. Um, again, I don't think this is an either-or situation where we have dialogues without them exclusively all the time. Uh, I think this is sort of an unusual uh, setup. Uh, that said, again, I think there's a lot of symbolism and somber um, kind of atmosphere in which the countries are convening in Vancouver right now. And I think for all the talks of war, that's actually quite welcome. I want to get your take on this phone call that happened today between Donald Trump and Xi Jinping. Um, hope was expressed by both, but um, as we heard our correspondents say, the U.S. wants to maintain a, quote, global campaign of maximum pressure. So a, a very opposite philosophy from China and some of the other countries, how can they come together and maybe meet in the middle? Or what is the best way forward to reach what's happening on the Korean Peninsula? I, I agree with that, um, the way you framed that question. I think uh, what is clear is that we have an opportunity as a global community to come around and unite around the PyeongChang Olympics. Olympics for decades and centuries has been a symbol uh, of international community putting their arms down and coming together and celebrating humanity. And I do think that United States has to show more flexibility, maybe not publicly, uh, because as you said, they have taken, we have taken a, a particularly um, you know, um, a hard uh, line when it comes to what we expect ultimately from North Korea. But I do think that privately there are talks being held at multiple levels to show more flexibility. And I'm hopeful that with the PyeongChang Olympics that the United States will ultimately come around and embrace an idea that is more balanced and uh, ultimately lead to lasting peace. Yep. Those games just a few weeks away. We'll have to see if that's a good jumping off point. Uh, Jessica Lee, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate okay. it.